Hi guys and welcome to Discovering Doors at the Sheaway. It's another dump day today. So we're going to go down there, see if we can take our uh, current hole down to the concretion layer. If we can get down to the concretion layer, I'll see how hard and how thick it is. I don't really have the tools to break through it today, but if we can get down to it, then we know we've got down to it. And uh, that gives us something to work on for next time take a hammer or something with us see if we can get through and then start finding some gingers but yeah so that's the idea today and anything we find along the way I'll be showing you just had this little pipe bowl pop out sadly only half of one but still found something just seen this wondering if it's complete or if it's gonna be broken it's a cool shape though oh and it's complete lovely green poison look at that not to be taken right across it look what a gorgeous bottle that is three three ounces I'm guessing yeah three ounces three ounces of some sort of poison also I just spotted this look just here Oh no, that one's broke. This little one's just popped up. I don't think there's anything on it. But a uh, nice little plain bottle nonetheless. Yeah, little plainy. First little thing we've had pop out here is a stopper still in the neck of the bottle. I'll give it a wipe, see if I can figure out what it is. Hall and Woodhouse Limited of Blandford. Look, little stopper still stuck in there. So we'll have that stopper. Just had this little measuring cup glass thing come out. You can see the measurements on the side there. See the numbering and the lines. Kind of cool, a bit different. Just had this one here come out. As you can see, it's broken, unfortunately. If it weren't for that break though, would have been a nice little bottle just plain but yeah check out this little triangular aqua blue bottle here snap neck unfortunately but look at that partial labeled I'm not sure what it would have said maybe blend at the top yeah I'm not sure maybe some sort of a gum bottle or something but I thought it was quite cool as I said unfortunately along with the others we've had recently it's got a snap neck just here look Poking out the side. Oh, it's a little jar. A little screw top. It's the first screw top I've had out of this. This place, that's for sure. Is it a screw top or is it just... Yeah, no, it would have been an old style screw top. Looks like we've got some sort of paste pot coming through. Oh, is it in good condition? Looks like it at the bottom. Ah, oh, there's a bit of a chip off around the side there, look. Other than that, it is in good condition though. That's concreted into there, so proper stuck. Just here. Is it another poison? Yeah, not to be taken written across there. A little bit difficult to see, but you can see it so clear glass poison this time following on from our green one quite an interesting little finds popped out here it's glass on one side with a paper back which is the label you're seeing come through looks like it says Abel Murials or Murales or something like that needles so I'm guessing it would have been the top of a needle pot or a pot of needles or something kind of cool that is I think there's a bottle just there Let's see if it's complete. Looks like it might be a sauce bottle. So nothing super special. I'll find out in a minute. Or well, maybe not. It's an old beer, look. That's a nice one, that is. That is a nice one. Clear glass. J. Goldie Limited of Dorchester. 
That's a beautiful one, that. Gorgeous bottle. Absolutely stunning, that. Sweet. Just having a bit of a scrape around for a potential new hole, and the first things that come out is this. It's got a tiny bit of gold gilt on the edge there, you can just about see. A blue flowery pattern, bit of bit of plate or whatever. And we also had what looks like a rabbit or a rat skull pop out. A rabbit, I think, looking at it actually. But yeah. So there's a couple little things. So far, out of the new hole, we've just had this pop through. A little uh, chemist bottle or something. Not super duper old, you can see it would have had a label, but it's popped up or corked up, however you want to look at it. Stop a top. But yeah, we've had that one, we've had this loads of pieces of this little teacup. So I'm going to try to take those home, give them a wash, lay them out, and see what they look like all together. Bit of pink plate, a couple more bits of the flowery stuff, and a big wartime brill cream. So I've just been on the phone to uh, Alex Does Stuff. Also a YouTube channel if you'd like to go check him out. Magnet fishing, metal detecting and EDC stuff. And uh, out of this hole we've had a more modern OK lid. It's quite cool. Uh, a little Beefex, 4 ounce Beefex jar, which I thought was nice. Nice amber jar. Door handle, which looks like it could be copper. Try to clean that up at home a bit better. See if we can find out anything that's underneath. This piece of metal, which could be a hinge for something, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll give that a clean at home as well. Had a nice panyan, little panyan pickle, you can, it's not letting you see it, but just there is panyan. Ah, there you go, pan yan. Little panyan pickle jar. Had this nice amber chemist's bottle. Another bone, had this paste pot, nothing super special, but I don't think I've seen one with that design before. So, kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, tiny little pot, nothing super duper. This one is probably the tallest paste pot I've ever seen, with lines on it. Little perfume bottle, you can see the ridges in it there. Very pretty little bottle. Sadly, it's a little bit snapped at the top. And this one, which I've never seen a paste pot with this design on either. So I thought that was very pretty. Two. Well, our last few bits we've had out of the hole. We had English bone china, half a teacup there. Uh, 6D, 6D Bovril Limited, little Bovril. Quite nice. Oh, uh, potential for a coin or something, maybe. So that's interesting. I have to have a look at that when we get home. Little pot. Had this little pot as well. It's got like um, almost a frag grenade style pattern around it. Quite cool. Lovely cobalt blue screw top. Probably a medicine or something. Little uh, Eldridge Pope stopper just there from Dorchester Brewery. See the shield symbol in the middle. Uh, another little glass stopper, just a clear glass stopper. Nice one. A bit of this lovely looking plate, but nothing super duper. And this is a more modern one. This popped out of the side at the top as I was digging. It says on it just there, Onoto Ink Pencil de la Rue London. So I haven't opened it yet, but I thought it was quite interesting. We'll take that home, give it a bit of a clean, and see what comes of it. Next up out of the hole, we've had this, I don't know if it's an old toy, or part of a fence, or gate, or something. Not entirely sure, but interesting little looking thing. And also had this uh, lid. I think it's a lid anyway, from something. Can't quite work out if it's metal or ceramic at the moment because of all the rust on it. Just had this nice little bit of milk glass pop up. It's a screw top. Uh, obviously, it's milk glass. It does actually say on the bottom here 
although it's extremely hard to see. You can just about see some of it coming through at the bottom there when I angle it. But it says mentholum trademark registered, or registered trademark, sorry. But yeah, mentholum. It's got a little bit of a chip, unfortunately, out of the side bit just there. But other than that, still a very nice little milk glass pot. Just here, look, just here, I can see the neck of a bottle poking through. Let's see if we can get it to come out. Not sure what it is. And it doesn't want to move at the moment. I don't want to force it too much in case it breaks, obviously. So, we've got a bit of a wiggle on it, but not a great deal of a wiggle on it. Right, I'm going to dig it out a bit more. Okay, we've got a bit more movement now, so slowly try to tease it out. There we go. It is... Not sure what it is or what it was, but it's a nice little bottle. Oh, look. Beautiful colour. Lovely bluey aqua colour, that one. Again, I get a better picture at home to show you the colour of it better. But yeah, complete. And it's a nice old one. Sweet. Look at that, that's poking through. Still got the stopper in it, whatever it is. Ooh, it doesn't want to move yet. Oh, there's something else just here. What's that? Just a plain jar, is it? Or Yeah, just a plain little jar looking thing, that one. Nothing special. But, whoop. But, this one does look a bit nicer here. Got some sort of embossing on it. Oh, is that a pipe? It is, we've just had a pipe come out. Check it out. It's a tall bowl on that one, isn't it? Wow, it's a big old pipe bowl, that one. Ah, bonus find. That's a bone, not part of the pipe. So yeah, bonus find of a pipe. What are we digging out of the bottle, look? Let's see if we can get it to come up. Ooh. The problem with this ground is it's quite compacted, so where's my little scrapey tool? Let's see if we can clear out the sides a bit better, get it to wobble out a bit more. And quite a big one this, I think. It's coming. Oh, There we go. Wow, that is a big old bottle. See if I can wipe it down a bit. Showering, showerings, showerings. Does it say on the other side? Showerings, showerings limited. With a big S. The stopper got anything on it? Just a plain stopper, it looks like. And around the bottom, we've got. Mallet. Hang on, hang on. Shepton Mallet. So it's from Shepton Mallet, which is a little village actually near me here. And it's a big old showerings bottle. Not sure what that would have been, but what a cool find. I didn't notice until just now, but we just had this little thing pop up too. It's a ceramic screw top, strangely enough little bright blue ceramic screw top thing. I don't know, maybe for vinegar or something? I'm not sure. Next to pop out, I've had half a teacup, which has Royal Ironstone Adams, established 1657, England on the bottom, which I thought was quite cool. I just noticed that there's a little bit of glass poking through here. Looks like actually it could be a Marmite or a Bovril. Let's see. What have we found? A two ounce bov rule. Look, there you go. Got a wide neck on that one too, actually. A little two ounce amber bov rule. We've got another one. Just here. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a nice, it's a medicine. A little teaspoons medicine bottle. You can see the measurements 
on the side there. Lovely little teaspoons medicine bottle. Nice. Next thing's to pop up, big sheet of lead. So I'll be taking that home to add to the rest. Couple of plain bottles, nothing super special. A little bottom of a teacup, guaranteed English bone china. And we had a lock, an old lock system for a door. And this little Groves of Weymouth bottle stopper. Also just seen this WEM Brewery bottle stopper, which I'm assuming will be Weymouth. Starting a fresh hole, so we're going to have some more modern bits come through at first. For instance, got a Mason's OK Source. You can't see that too well. Mason's OK Source embossed along there. And it comes with a little screw top lid too. So that's pretty cool. Also, got the world's smallest little pot that I found. It's my first pot this size. I think it says 120 or something like that on the bottom. Maybe a little paint pot or something, unless someone can tell me otherwise. Last few items we had, little Elbridge Pope stopper with the little man inside. Two of these, although this one's in better condition. And a larger Panyan jar, Panyan pickles. Well, that's me done then, guys. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for joining me.